Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the easiest way to basically make coins during Team of the Year. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch almost daily. Uh, the link for that will be in the description as well as my Twitter and Discord. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into the video. And I wanted to start it off on Footbin because this is kind of what I use and how you guys should do it too. Um, I'll put links to all of these websites in the description, right? But basically, you want to go over to FIFA 21 players, click on this, and then where it has these little stars, right? You can search by rating, and you can put in 83 rated. Uh, I'm on Xbox. If you're on PS, it would say PS here. Uh, you click twice, that's the most expensive. And then this is the cheapest. So you're filtering by the cheapest 83 rated players, right? Um... And basically, you can literally just go down this list, right? So, we have Tadic. He's 1.6k. Um, if we go back on FIFA and we search Tadic, we can check his actual price, right? So, he is... He's probably around 1.6. Footpin's mostly right all the time. Um, yeah, so he's 1.6. And what you guys can do, since there's so mini packs being opened you guys can number one this is my favorite right you can get on bids and this Tadich right will probably be I could probably win a lot of these Tadiches for under 1.1 or 1.1 and just resell at 1.6 super fast uh, let's see if we won any of those you will get outbid on some I'm not saying that you're gonna win every single card but if, if you guys just get on bids, right? We did get our bid on that. But like this 950, we might get it, we might not. And if you just do this for like an hour, maybe, you will have a ton of coins because there's a ton of cards on the market. Um, and you can't, you don't need to just use one player, right? So if we go back over to Footpin, there's all of these 83 rated players and you, you can literally do it with every single one. You can just go down the list, bidding on a couple players for maybe five to 10 minutes, see how many you get. Um, if you start getting outbid or out sniped on those players, go to a different player. And you can do this with 83s, 84s, 85s. Basically all fodder uh, works really well with this, right? So let's take PZ for an example. Um, if we go look how much he is, I think 84s are very inflated right now because of the SBC that came out. Um, looks like they've died down a little bit, but he is around 5.7, 5.6k. Um, so yeah, he's 5.6k, right? On Footpin, he says he's 5.9, but he's 5.6. What you can do is you can sit here sniping at like 4.9, 5k, and... You just have to be a little bit patient, um, but they will pop up. Players are opening packs and they're storing them to the club. Um, then they'll log off, then maybe log on later and sell them. But this works the best during lightning rounds. And uh, on Friday yesterday, I know there wasn't any lightning rounds today, which was kind of weird. There was not really anything, but like this PZ, right? You would see like three, four, five, six pages in a row at 700 um, because people just pack them and list them up on the market for their cheapest. They don't really care. They just want the coins. So you guys can get on bids. I don't think we actually won any of these, but like 1.2, right? If you get them for 1.2, you can resell at 1.6 or 1.7 basically straight away. Um, and I know that's not the most coins, but it still is coins, right? It's coins you're making coins super easy and you can literally do this for so long you can bid on these players it's super fast um and if you're on a low budget like me you can easily do this um i went from like 30 to 80k today and i did the sbc uh which cost about 30k so i probably made around 100k today doing this and i didn't even do it for that long right i think i did it for an hour on stream and a little bit off stream um but if we do win this pc for Let's say we win them for 5k. We put them up for 5.9. Some lazy buyer is going to buy that, right? And the thing is, 
you guys can either list for minimum amount and have them sell instantly and still make profit or you can put them up for lazies um it really just depends on if you need the coins or not and th this is probably the easiest way right it's not hard it doesn't take that much time you can you can do it on the web app because you can bid on the web app uh you can snipe on the console and during lightning rounds this really does work the best right as soon as lightning rounds come out you want to get on snipes uh, you want to look at not just these 84s and uh, 83s, but you can also look at the 86s, the 87s, the 88s, right? So summer, 19k. Uh, we can check his price, and if he's actually 19k, we could snipe at like 16, right? Um, because they will pop up for 16k when there's lightning rounds. Because people do not look at the prices, they just list them up. Right, okay, let's see if we can win this PZ at like 5k or under. If we can, great. If we can't, um, then we won't take it. Uh, but you guys do need to know, right? You need to have a set value of what you're not going to bid above. And in this case, I'm not going to bid above 5.1. So if it gets there, do not bid above it because you're not going to be making that much coins and the gap won't be that much and the tax will be, right? So I'll probably be making like three to 400 coins off of this card if I get them for 5.1 um, and I'll take it because normally I would just go down the list and just bid on every single player I see that I can uh, not really look at the time uh, and then go back to the transfer list see what I won um, and if I won something great if I didn't great right so I'll bid 5.1 if I don't win them I don't win them uh, it's not the end of the world I can literally just Compare price and look, there's another one right there, right? So we'll wait on that one too. It, it's just super easy and it, it's literally just the best way in my opinion. Um, if you guys are on a bigger budget, you can do this with higher rated players. Uh, if you're on a smaller budget, do it with like 83s, 84s. Another way you can do this is with 82s. It looks like we are going to get that uh, PZ for 5.1. And if we go to 82s, uh, 8282 we can just put in the value right here if we go to 82s you're not gonna want to be looking at the guys for 850 you're gonna want to be looking at the guys from like 1.2 to 2k because these types of players I used Arnautovic a lot today um, if we go back to FIFA and we see how much longer is on this PC right I used Arnautovic I got probably 20 to 25 of him at like 700 to 750 coins and resold at 1.2 so uh if we bid 5.1 on him if we get him great if we don't we don't get him that's kind of that's kind of what you guys have to like you're gonna get out bid right you're not gonna win every single bid but there's just gonna be so many bids that you will win some uh people won't be looking at certain cards so if we go take an 82 for an example right we go look at Arnautovic. He is, what is he currently on the market? 1.3. So as low as his 1.3, he'd sell instantly at 1.2. We go look, right? Let's see, 700 coins, right? We bid on that. We bid on this one. A lot of these are just for 700 because he's 82. People just pack him, list him up because, oh, he's an 82. He's not gonna be going for anything, but actually he does go for a little bit of value. Um, and yeah, this is literally super easy. Just bid for 700. Uh, you can honestly just go through, even though right now, this is four minutes, but if it was right after lightning rounds, like an hour after, this would still be less than one minute. And all of these would be for 700 and you would be winning a ton. Yes, you would have more competition. Yes, you would be losing a ton, but also you would be winning a ton. We get this for 5.1 as well. And we will list that back up, right? So. It's kind of just this cycle on cycling through 85s, 86s, 87s, 84s, and kind of just getting them on bid. Um, these 85s, you're going to have to get them on bid for like a K. Once you get to the 85s and plus, you're going to have to get them on bid for a lot more than you're going to get these on bid because you're working with more coins, right? So it looks like we are going to get out bid on these. But look, this guy just won them for 750. And this, you guys can literally do this, right? I'm probably not gonna pay above 750, but you can pay above seven. You could pay 750. I'd stop there. Um, but yeah, 
that's basically how you guys can make easiest coins possible um it's super easy super effective and you can be making a ton of coins um and yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe also follow my twitch down below the link for that will be in the description as well as my twitter and discord um yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video uh thank you guys for watching and i hope it helped you out